Alrighty, what the fuck is up everybody? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. Some of you like what's this motherfucker doing? We're going to Mexico guys. We're going to Mexico. Um let me let me actually find out where my thing is. Let me get all this situated because I'm a little lost. This is like not gonna lie, one of my first times flying alone without people, so let me fucking get this situated. Let me get this situated. And then I'll pick up the vlog and I'll tell you guys what's going on. But I'm a little lost. I'm not gonna lie to y'all right now. I'm a fucking little lost. Before entering the screening checkpoint. A few minutes later. Alright, so we finally made it through everything we had to make it through. You know, we went through inspection, you know, damn near got me naked out there. Damn, that lady was kinda rude though. I'm not gonna lie. She she like damn near wanted to see everything. Now my mission is find something to eat guys because I haven't ate since So it's 5 a.m. on Tuesday, but I haven't ate since oh, uh, So like a 12 hours give or take I haven't eaten in 12 hours now I'm hungry now Let's just hope there's a Dunkin Donuts or a Mickey D's or something because like I'm honestly generally hungry I'm gonna grow up on this McDonald's, but you guys know you guys always gotta have the rewards points on deck Believe it or not. I actually don't eat here that often but but Hear me out. The rewards be adding up when you do come and eat here. So I recommend getting the McDonald's app because honestly, they be adding up. Like right now, I have a free hash brown because last time I went to go buy a McChicken or something like that and they gave me like points and stuff. Like they be adding up, guys, and they be giving you good deals. Not gonna lie. Download the McDonald's app. Not sponsored. Free breakfast of a champion. About to mess this food up, guys. I'm about, I'll, I'll catch you guys after this. I'm starting to regret not sleeping, but I'm not, you know, like, I'm really trying to fall asleep on this flight, but I'm also trying not to fall asleep beforehand. But, like, I might. I just might fold. With this food, hot food, it's just gonna make me want to knock out. But I think I got... It's currently 5.47. So that means I got, like, two hours left. I gotta pull through, guys. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna pull through. I don't know, but I'm better fall asleep. 12 seconds later. Man, I'm really trying not to fall asleep, but look at my eyes, they're watering like how tired I am. Like I said, I just want to get on the plane and knock the fuck out. Oh, by the way, I'm in the waiting room. Guys, I'm out of energy. At this point, I'm just out of energy. Man, look at those ghetto ass. And those, and those private suites. Bitch. Please, I'm fine here in my comfortable chair. Ain't nobody... I'm better off here in my comfortable chair. Saved myself like 150 bucks. We just touched down in Mexico. Now the only thing that's left to do is I gotta take a fucking shit and I also feel like vomiting. Have you guys ever seen that clip of the, the, the plane going like... That's what the fuck my plane did. And so like they had just fed us, man, they had just given us something to eat and it went like, like that meme. And now it made me want to yak. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It made me want to yak. And worst of all, as you guys saw, I had the fucking middle aisle seat. So it's like one of the worst seats. I'm not going to lie. I think I snored the fuck out of, I was snoring. Damn, so bro just got it like that. Damn, he's making me hungry out here. I might get some tacos. Six and a half hours late. Second play of the day. We're about to get on board. Hopefully no middle seat. Prayers up. No middle seat. Anything but a middle seat. But even if we get stuck with a middle seat, it's only a 30 minute flight. So I'm not complaining. But still, no middle seat. Alright, best case scenario. We got stuck with a uh, window seat. So, I'm not complaining. 30 minute flight ahead of us. I'll see you guys when I get to my destination. We're going to Sam's Club. I'm so excited to go to Sam's Club. But I don't know why you guys might be asking. Why the fuck are you so excited to go to Sam's Club? I don't know. Whatever they told me we were going to go to Sam's Club, I was excited. I'm like, I've never been to Sam's Club somewhere else. So this is going to be a, a good one. So I'm excited for this. Just like that, we're back in our hometown. I'm excited to see all this, but you know what? I'm more excited to go to Sam's Club. So be prepared for that. That's gonna be the best part of the whole video, going to Sam's Club. But first, we gotta go pick up the luggage first. First things first. I cannot be the only one who is excited for the food whenever they come back to their home country. I feel like 
everybody whoever goes back to their home country goes to Mexico they're excited to bust down on some good ass tacos and I swear to god that's all I've been looking forward to man I'm gonna get bad as shit over here more than I already am but we'll cut it down watch we're gonna go we're gonna go dialed in for a little bit during the days and then during the night we'll feast three days later good morning everybody it's the next day i didn't film anything yesterday after that long ass flight and you know just all that shit traveling you know gets you exhausted guys gets you exhausted let me tell you guys it was like a 15 hours since like the second i left my house it was a 15 hour travel day but you know what it's the next day we're here today is a big day today's a good day because i'm gonna go see my grandma and then let me show you guys what I'm working with. What the William Estate is looking like. What the five star hotel is looking like. Boom. And then we got the little fan over here. That is the William Estate. That is the five star hotel you know. A thousand dollars a night. Y'all can't get this. Now I'm just fucking with you. Um, no, I'm at my aunt's house. This is where I usually stay. You know, uh, my dad has a house in Mexico, but like no one really lives in there that much. So I kind of don't want to stay there by myself. So who's going to cook for me? You know, like who's going to cook for me? Um, but today we're actually going to go to where my dad's from because we're in a different like, like there's pueblitos, you know, you fuck with me. You like there's little towns and now we're going to go to a different town. We're going to go see my grandma and I'm only vlogging what I think it's entertaining to you guys, show you the guys the good things, show you what Mexico's about. Now, I want to show you guys what the good things is about Mexico, but my grandma knows this person who's apparently ultra rich, you know, millionaire status. So, we're going to one of her, what used to be a resort, but not anymore. They closed it down, but now it's just a typical house, but they have an indoor spot and we're about to head there right now. Let me show you guys around this house, you know, I got permission, so don't worry, I got permission from the family, like, oh, I can, you can vlog it, you can do whatever you want. Guys, when I tell you guys, this is an ultra big house, this is big. Like, this is some shit like, that will cost like 10 million in the States. But it's a nice resort, let me show you guys around. So, first off, you gotta walk up, walk up this little hill. They have motorcycles. All right, so there was people in the house, but they were working, so I didn't want to be awkward and just vlogging there. This house is super cool, guys, as you guys are seeing by these videos. And this used to be a ballroom that people used to do events in. I don't know why the reason why it got closed down, but this place used to be so fucking cool, guys. A lot of tourists used to go there. But yeah, guys, this is an ultra mega mansion. Three days later. All right, enough of the bullshit. Let's get straight into the fucking business. All right, so I've been here for a approximately two days haven't vlogged much haven't done much you know just been with the family catching up and i don't think you guys want to see that i don't think i don't think you guys just want to be seeing me talking to my family i think that's not it but me and my family just got off the phone i think i'm gonna be heading over to the beach i make no promises because it's still in the works it might be like a fat maybe fat maybe but right now we're at the field boom look at this majestic field out here in mexico in the middle of butt nowhere we're about to get some exercise. We're about to get some exercise done because you know what? I got fat as shit, as you guys could tell. If you guys go back to some of my old videos, I was skinnier, and then we got fat as shit out of nowhere. You know what, Kelly? I blame you because you take me nothing out but to eat. But that is besides the point at this point. We're gonna lose these fucking pounds. We're gonna lose these. You know. I might be darker than when I started this video. I might be darker. Cause for here, guys, it's 90 degrees. Like, it's outrageous right now. Out here with a hoodie, you know, I'm really trying to lose this fucking weight. Like, I'm not joking around. We're not joking around this year. We're gonna do something. We're almost halfway through the year. Let's make the second year half. Let's make the half, the second half of the year better. And then you guys do some shit. You guys get up to something. You know, you do something productive. I'm gonna get something productive. And tonight, I'm gonna start editing these videos so I can have this video up. I'm sorry for the one week of missing it. But you know what? We're back. We're back on the grind after this. We're back on the grind. I'm about to do some exercise. I'm going to take you guys somebody. But first, I'm going to run some laps. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to run some laps. I'm going to get this jogging in. But the only bad thing is, I forgot my running shoes at home. And these kids are about to use this field in like an hour. So I got nothing but choice but to run in the Air Forces. Don't hate me. I'm sorry, Alexis. You're probably cringing your ass off right now. Y arriba yo. Mi papa. We're two laps in and I'm about fucking gassed. I'm damn near gassed at this point. It's no, it's no fucking secret. It's hot out here and I think the altitude's higher. God damn, I'm gassed.
workout's done. That was like an easy five pounders, you know, laid off five pounds right there. Let me tell you guys. Altitude in Mexico, especially we will have no fucking joke. Anyways, that's gonna close out today's video. Whatever got into this video, got into this video, but I promise, whatever got into this video, got into this video, but whatever, from now on, whatever keeps going into these videos, it's gonna be bangers, straight up bangers, guys, I promise. Make sure to subscribe, because I got a banger video for you guys. I'm gonna have all the kids from the hood in Mexico compete for money, and you know how that could get. Whenever people compete, especially here, with zero English skills, it's gonna be a banger, guys. You guys wanna stay tuned for that one. But I'll see you guys on the next one.